guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm looking a bit crazy. I've decided to start off with the mask again. It really helps prep the skin. I'm going with the Gen Clay or Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening, Brightening Purple Clay Mask. This is actually really nice. I love how it makes my skin look once it's all done. Now, obviously, it looks a bit crazy. But I'm going out for a girls' night with my best friend to the city tonight, so I decided why not film myself getting ready. I'm so excited. We're going to go have a uh, ramen. I don't remember what the place is called, but I'm very excited. So I thought I'd film the process of me getting ready, possibly the outfit I pick, which I kind of have in mind, but I don't. I don't 100% know what I want to do yet. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to see how my makeup turns out, just keep watching. All right, so we have done with the mask. I'm loving how my skin's feeling and looking. So I've obviously just got in with some toner, moisturizer and now I'm ready to do the skin. For today's look, I kind of want to channel like the last bit of winter coldness that we have because we are now in spring and I'm so excited. I'm so ready for some warmth, but I love the cold so much. So I'm going to be channeling, like I said, the last kind of looks I can do for cold weather. So it's like dark lips, but I never really did that vibe anyway in winter because we weren't actually able to go anywhere with quarantine. So I've decided that this, this is the last time I'm actually going out for ramen. I'm going to channel that. So I'm so excited. I'm going in with a lip that I haven't worn pretty much since last winter. And this is called Globe Globe Trotter by Maybelline. It's a super say super stay matte ink. It's so pretty. I love it's the, or the it's a dark orange and with the outfit I'm going for tonight which is all black I feel like it would suit perfect so I'm so excited for this. So I thought we'd just get straight into it. Super excited. I'm going to go in with the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. I want my skin to glow. glow. Love glowy skin. I feel like I don't really upload as often as I probably should so I'm going to try my best to get back on that because I love filming, I love editing, I love all that it has, all of it. It's just so fun to me like and I haven't done it in so long. I feel like I'm just a procrastinator and it needs to needs to stop if you ask me. I lost my, my nose piercing before and I'm like, and then I stepped on it. <laughs> um, then I'm just going to go in with the, the Professional by Benefit. I love this stuff but I'm almost out. I should probably get some more. Oh, and this ring, how beautiful. And this necklace. This one right here. So one of my favorite YouTubers came out with a fine jewelry line. It's called Jazz Handmade. And I am so excited. I love all the pieces. I didn't get a whole heap because I just wanted to start off small first. But I got this ring. It is so pretty. The vanity ring. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. And I got this little necklace it's a charm and I got the chain I'll get all down below she's unfortunately completely sold out right now which is amazing but she will be restocking soon and I would highly recommend you go get your hands on her jewelry it's absolutely amazing I might go with my eyebrows now the look I'm doing isn't an over-the-top dramatic look I'm pretty much just going for like a simple wing some lashes probably no falsies I haven't really been in the mood to use falsies a lot of the time so eh. I'm gonna actually zoom you guys in a bit because you're a bit far out I think that's a bit better I like that it's just a bit more closer so you can see what's going on with my face hopefully it doesn't look bad <laughs> all right so eyebrows first as always I'm just gonna go in with the benefit precisely my brow I love this I like to do a once over my brows first and then go in obviously do the rest of my face and then kind of go back to them just so anything that's maybe come out or I've gone over with some Foundation, I can just touch up. This kind of gives me the overall shape first. I really need to get my eyebrows done because she's looking a bit hairy. All right, so that's pretty much the eye I'm gonna, or the eyebrow I'm kind of gonna have to live with, I guess. I will go over it after just so I fix everything up. So I think actually I go with my eyes first. They're not overly complicated, so I'm not gonna do any fallout, but I just rather, but I would just rather have my eyes done. So I'm just going to go in with the, as always, um, oh, I've actually never known Double Duty Beauty. I've never seen that. Okay, the Tarte Shape Tape in 12S Fair, just to prime my lids. I'm actually really excited for this makeup look. I love looks that are really focused on 
the base with a simple eye with a little wing. I love that look. And then to set it, I'm just going to go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this stuff so much. Now I'm just going to go again in with the Natasha Denona bronze palette just because I really do like this palette and I want to get my money's worth out of it just because it was a bit expensive. But the colors are just beyond beautiful. And for the look I'm going for, it's, it's a perfect palette. So I'm just going to go with the same brush I use. This is just a ColourPop brush. First I'm just going to go in with peach. So that's this color down here in the corner. Just to start off with a light transition. Because this look isn't very heavy on the eyes, I'm just going to go start off very slowly. I just want to kind of get it defined to start off with. Okay, just in with that same brush. I'm going to go with Suntan. So it's this brownie color right here. It's a nice warm pinky kind of undertone, which I like. Just with the same brush. I'm just going to go on to just that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it kind of side on. Just so it gets into the socket and on my lid. Because that's kind of what I want more. And just to darken up this socket of the eye. I'm just going to blow that out a bit from the sides. I really want to actually tell you what. I might go get myself a glass of wine. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm just going to get myself some wine. I got myself a nice wine. I'm a Moscato girl, if you guys cared at all. So this is um, Tempest 2. I'm just going to blow this up a bit near the brow because I want it to... I can't wait. I don't, you never like know a word for that. Just It's really snatched, I guess you could use. I want to kind of stick to that V just so when I do do the wing... <laughs> I said do do. <laughs> I'm such a child. When I do the wing, it's all kind of in unison. I would have to say, this is so random, getting ready is probably one of the best processes like therapeutic wise especially for myself, just because I feel so good when I get ready, like when I put makeup on, like I love when me and Eleanor get ready because we just blare the music, pardon me, we just blare the music, drink wine, and like sometimes it's more fun than actually going out. So I love that we can do that together. Like my best friend, so it's all good. It's, it's great, I mean, it's just not all good, it's great. And it was actually our birthday yesterday, we're that weird, that we have a shared birthday. See, my birthday is August 17th. Her birthday is the 24th of September. So the day in between that is <laughs> September 4th, we discovered. So the middle between about both of our birthdays. So we literally have a shared birthday. And it was yesterday. So we're going out to celebrate. That's not why we're going out. But it is one of the reasons now. Alright, so pretty much done on the eyes. That's how simple I'm going to be like making this look. I don't want it to be so like over the top and such eye focused. Like, I really want it to be, like, face and lashes and lips. Like, I'm that kind of vibe for my makeup tonight. So, yeah. It's very simple on the eyes. So, let's get in to line up. Now, I'm going in with the brownie, orangey kind of color. It's kind of match my lips, so it's magma. So, this brown right here, it's very warm, orangey brown. So, that's what I'm going to go for on my eyes. Just because it will match my lips. I think very nicely so that's what I'm going to go in with so let me start off so I'm just going to go in with this Colourpop angled brush I don't know any of the names on these so I'm sorry if I can find it I will definitely link it down below for you I'm going to start with the wing this is just personally how I like to start my wing liner I know sometimes you can start here but I don't know why I like getting that line first Anyway, it always if you kind of stuff it up here, just go in with concealer, anything, and you can just fix it up straight away. Hmm. Not bad. Good job. Only looking at it, I'm going to have to kind of fix this one up just on the ends a bit. But apart from that, they actually look really nice. I'm very, very happy. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with a little brush and just kind of clean up underneath it. This doesn't have like any product on it whatsoever. It had a little concealer on it earlier today when I used it. But apart from that, there's nothing on it. That really just like cleans up the edges so much. And plus when you're going to go in with like foundation, you can clean it up that way as well. 
but this is just a pre-clean. That is basically done. I'm gonna go in with my face. I'll go back into the eyes after I do the face. So once you've done your face, you can kind of see what else your eyes need. So I'm gonna get into doing that. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation in 1.40. This is such a nice foundation, is it locked? I should probably clean this after I use it. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill brush just to kind of stipple it all over the face. All right, so I've just blended out all the foundation. It took me some time because I wanted it to look amazing and not like cake. What I love to do is I love to just go in with my spray. I'll spray my Beauty Blender because I feel like that really, she once you go over your face with it, it really shears out the foundation and kind of makes it not so cakey and I feel like that's what I need. My face gets just so cakey because I've lost so much weight and my face really holds a lot of excess skin at the moment. So I get like it in my face here. I just get it in, sorry, I get it in my smile lines a lot. I never really used to have that many smart, like this such smile lines like deep in my forehead. I'm putting it down to the weight loss. That's what I'm putting it down to. My whole face is just so saggy now. All right, so for concealer, I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape again. And what I'm gonna actually do is, I'm just gonna leave it there for a second, especially under my eyes, just so it can dry there a bit. It, <laughs> this looks so funny. And it can be a bit more pigmented. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender and blend out the rest of it. All right, I'm just gonna go with my sponge again under the eye. The con difference concealer makes is just so crazy to me. I love it. I love foundation, I love makeup, I love concealer. It's just all amazing and I can't live without it. <laughs> all right. So now that the concealer is all beautifully blended in, it looks amazing. I'm just going to go back in with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to set under my eyes. I will use this to set the rest of my face, but I'm just going to focus on my under eyes just for right this second. And sorry, so I'm going to do my under eyes and my smile lines just because they're going to probably be bad and annoying. So I just laugh so much with my friends. It's like inevitable. I'm going to get the laugh lines. I know that. It's just annoying. Now I'm just going to go in. Wrong brush. It's going with my big powder brush and kind of whatever's in the lid, which is not much. I'll just go over the rest of my face with. The foundation will always come off my nose and I just don't comprehend why. All right, have that all set nicely. This is so dry. I was like, I had my bronzer out. Where'd it go? I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs. What's this one called? The 102 Tantastic. This is such a good contouring shade because it is really gray, but also can be really, really good as a bronzer. So I'm going to use that as kind of both really. I don't really contour as much anymore. All right, it's pretty much the bronzer I'm going to do. I don't want to over bronze my face. So now back to the eyes. I'm kind of going to go in with a little bit more of the liner just to kind of darken it up a little bit. Not much. Is that same brush we used? better. I think some of it went away a little bit from the powder. That is such... It's just so pretty having an eye look like this. I think it's amazing. The slide's going up a bit more than this side, but you know what? It can't all be perfect, so I'm just going to have to deal. I'm just going to go in the inner corner a bit just to get that kind of, like that foxy eye look that everyone loves. Myself included, clearly. But I'm not gonna like draw that little triangle in the inner corner. I'm just gonna stick to doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows again. I don't really actually need to do much with them. They're pretty good. I can see not too dark. They're actually perfect. Go over the front bit of my eyebrows. Before I finish up with the rest of my face, I'm just gonna go quickly go ahead and go over my hair a little bit, just with a bit more curls. Like I know it looks nice at the moment, but I just want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go finish that and I'll be right back. Alright, so my hair is done. I love my hair so much. I recently got it cut, obviously, to here, and she just showed me a different way to style my hair and get it looking big, fluffy, beautiful. I love it. So I've just put hairspray in it, which I don't normally do anymore because I just don't like the feeling of hairspray, and I love, I play with my hair so much. So I'm gonna have to not do that. Alright, so before I get into anything else, pretty much I'm done. Realistically. Alright, so I'm just going to go over and spray my face with the Cover Effects Dewy Finish Setting Spray. 
I'm going to go in with mascara. I don't have my curler with me. But like I said earlier, I'm not going to go in with falsies just because I'm not, not that vibe really anymore and I can't be bothered messing around with those. Alright, I'm going in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I think this used to be in collaboration with Shayla. Um, so it's that one. I think I had this, but I think it dried out, so I got rid of it. A really nice mascara. The only problem I have with my lashes is that they're pretty long and there's a lot of them, but they're straight. So it bugs me so much. So I always try to like, get like a volumizing mascara. But I'll go in after and curl them again just so it sticks a bit. I'm not going to put any on my lower lashes just because I want it to look really lifted. And I feel like sometimes putting it on your lower lashes really bring the look down. So I'm just going to actually leave those pretty bare. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with Colourpop Lippy Pencil in Brick. Just to line, actually I need to sharpen it. Alright, so I'm going to go in and align my lip. I actually line my top lips very well. <laughs> going in with the lipstick, I'm so excited to use this. I've like overlined <laughs> my bottom lips so much. Oh well. Mm. This lip, guys, I just can't with it. I feel so pretty. I love like honestly feeling beautiful and feeling pretty is obviously all from with what's in. But when I wear makeup that makes me feel that much more beautiful, I feel absolutely amazing and I love the feeling of it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I know it took me probably so long to do such a simple look, but I just wanted to sit down and film it. My hair, I love it. I'm just really excited for the vibe I'm going for tonight. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this because I enjoyed filming it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.